Hi guys! Welcome to my class. Please subscribe so that you will be notified on the next math lesson. Then, like and share so that you can also help other students. Our topic for today is about percent of a number. We are going to learn how to find the percent of a number. And to find the percent of a number when the percent is greater than 100% or less than 1%. Let us work on this example so that you will be guided. The pie chart shows the food preferred by students. 150 students are taking that food in our canteen. Find the number of students that have fruits as their food during break time. 10% of the students are having waraganap. 35% have cookies, 5% have pancake, 8% have shawarma, and 42% have fruits. Therefore, we are going to put down the fruits as 42%. Since we are going to look for the number of students having fruits during break time, we're going to convert 42% into fraction. 42% is 42 over 100 in fraction. We're going to look for the common factor of 42 and 100. And in this case, it is 2. Therefore, we're going to divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. Accordingly, 42 divided by 2 is 21 and 100 divided by 2 is 50. We can now multiply 150 with 21 over 50. 15, 50 is 1. And 15, 150 is 3. To simplify it, 21 times 3 will give us 63. Accordingly, 63 out of 150 students are having fruits during break time. What if the question is find the number of students that have shawarma as their food during break time? We are going to take the percentage of shawarma which is 8%. Writing 8% into fraction is 8 over 100. The common factor of 8 and 100 is 2. Therefore, 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 100 divided by 2 is 50. Multiplying 4 over 50 by 150, we can cancel out 50 and 150. Therefore, 15 50 is 1 and 50 and 150 is 3. To simplify, 4 times 3 is 12. Subsequently, 12 out of 150 students have shawarma as their food during break time. Let us work on another example so that you can understand it well. Find 125% of 480. Converting 125% into fraction is 125 over 100. To simplify 125 over 100, we're going to look for the common factor of the numerator and denominator. And in this case, it is 25. Consequently, 125 divided by 25 is 5, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. Therefore, the simplest form of 125 over 100 is 5 over 4. We can now multiply 5 over 4 by 480. We can cancel out 4 and 480 by dividing them with their common factor. 4 in 4 is 1, and 4 in 480 is 120. To simplify the answer, 5 times 120 is 600. Therefore, 125% of 480 is 600. To show you the longhand multiplication of 120 by 5, let us work on this. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10. Bring down the 0 and carry it over the 1 on the hundreds place. Finally, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 on the carried over number, it will give us 6. Accordingly, 120 times 5 is 600. Let us work on another example so that you can hit it off. Find 260% of 45. Converting 260% into fraction will give us 260 over 100. To find the simplest form of 260 over 100, we're going to divide it by the common factor, which is 10. 
Accordingly, 260 divided by 10 is 26. 100 divided by 10 is 10. 26 over 10 is not yet in the simplest form. We're going to look for the common factor of 26 and 10. And in this case, it is 2. Accordingly, 26 divided by 2 is 13. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. We can now multiply 13 over 5 by 45. We can cancel out the 5 and 45 since they have common factor which is 5. Therefore, 5 and 5 is 1 and 5 and 45 is 9. Hence, to simplify 13 by 9, it will give us 117. Therefore, 260% of 45 is 117. Let us work on another example so that you can fully understand the lesson. Find 0.3% of 56. 0.3% into fraction is 0.3 over 100. We are going to eliminate the decimal point on the numerator, therefore we are going to multiply the fraction by 10 over 10. And 0.3 times 10 is 3, 100 times 10 is 1000. Therefore, 0.3% is 3 over 1000. We can now multiply 3 over 1000 by 56. Let us take 2 as the common factor of 1056. Therefore, 2 in 56 is 28. And 2 in 1000 is 500. We can still simplify 28 and 500. Accordingly, let us divide it by 2 again. 2 in 28 is 14. And 2 in 500 is 250. It is not yet in the simplest form. So we can still divide them by 2. 2 in 14 is 7 and 2 in 250 is 135. There is no more common factor in 7 and 125. In that case, we can simplify it by 3 times 7 all over 125. And we can come up with 21 all over 125. Which will give us 0 0.168. Accordingly, 0 0.168. 3% of 56 is 0 0.168. To wrap it up in finding the percent of a number, convert the percent into fraction. If the fraction is not yet in the simplest form, look for the common factor of the numerator and denominator and divide both numerator and denominator by the common factor. After finding the simplest form of the fraction, Multiply it with a given number. Just keep in mind that in finding the percent of a number, convert the percent into fraction. As much as possible, the fraction must be in the simplest form. Afterwards, you can multiply the fraction in simplest form with a number, and you can find the answer. I will never stop reminding you what Sheikh Zayed wrote for us. Education is like a lantern which lights your way in a dark alley. We need to give importance to our education so that we're not going to be blindfolded in the future. In case you have confusion on some part of the lesson, I want you to go back, revise it again, watch it carefully, slowly, and I know you can get it. Life is a math equation. You cannot get the most of it if you cannot convert the negatives into positive. I want you to score high in math, then be wise and healthy, okay? Till next math lesson, bye-bye!